High five. <laughs> High five. My hands are so ugly. High what? five. <laughs> I literally set my alarm this morning for the sole purpose of getting my ass to the dollar store before 10 a.m. That's what my life has come to. <laughs> so there hasn't been much to do here in Toronto and I just discovered that I need some essentials. So we are about to go to an essential store. I also definitely need a serotonin boost, so it might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm thinking I can find it at the dollar store today. And yes, I did get dressed and put on makeup for this. It's, it's a big day, it's a big occasion, okay? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Unexpected, but necessary. <gasps> Wait. Tell me why these are kind of cute, though. So I don't know if any of you guys saw that egg TikTok. But <laughs> I don't think they sell any of that here, unfortunately. I was really hoping to get myself a raw packaged egg today. Wait. This could be it. Okay, I'm about to reveal to you guys my favorite, favorite section. Ooh, seriously, you can actually find so many good things in here that I talk about a lot in my videos, so let me just do a quick little grab and go for you guys. Why do these look like those really trendy rings on Instagram? Do I do a DIY? I've always kind of wanted this, so I think I'm gonna splurge today. Why did I literally just find like every girl's aesthetic right now at the dollar store? We're going wild. Question of the day. Do I get this for Daniel and put things in it? What kind of things you might ask? I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Guys, I was so overwhelmed with Valentine's Day that I didn't even realize there are literal Easter disco balls on this side. What? Really? Quite on top of the trends here, you guys. They have dickies here. And this. <gasps> wait, why is this kind of gonna pop off though? Okay, you guys are gonna have to wait to see what a dickie is. I feel like it might be a Canadian term, but if you know, you know. All right, I think my work here is done. Whoever can guess the total wins a mini egg disco ball. Oh. If you guess a hundred dollars, like literally almost on the dot, I think it was 47 cents. You were correct. I don't know about your guys' dollar stores, but Hardly anything is actually a dollar anymore because of inflation, the economy. We love it. Let's not even get into how much that has affected the housing market and other things that I have to worry about in my twenties. But for now, we're we're just you know coping by going to the dollar store. So you guys know I brought my own reusable bags. I think the dollar store can be a great place for many reasons. Some of them take a lot of dead stock inventory that probably would end up in landfills anyways and they sell it off to people for really affordable prices which I think is super great. I was looking for things that had the least amount of packaging. Cutting down on the waste 2021. I'm trying to be better at that too. If you guys want to see like a video on what I'm using in replace of like normal essentials, not toilet paper, then let me know. First things first, I decorated with some fun Valentine's Day decor. This wasn't supposed to be like a Valentine's Day video, but that section was by far my favorite. Let's get some boring things out of the way first. For $4, I got a bath mat. I got two frames. This one is $2.50 and this one was $4. I actually ordered some really fun prints for my office because I figured I need to like spice up the background a little bit instead of just having piles of clothes and my Nespresso machine on the floor. We are doing some office improvements. So these are gonna be perfect for that. Cutting boards, 250. Hey, give me some spice. Give me some spice. Eco 
Eco Compostable. I only got one thing in the glamour section, let's call it, and I picked up these brown nail polishes because what I want to do is paint over these acrylics that I have, and they're just like clear, so I figured might as well paint brown over top. I don't really feel like putting this nail polish straight into my nail beds. We've got a paintbrush. We've got a bathtub basketball net. This is also gonna be a fun room DIY, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Of course, you guys know I had to get the Easter egg disco balls. This is the best $1.50 I've ever spent in my entire life. And speaking of decorating for the holidays, cute, cute, cute little red string lights. Tape, again, for the DIY. So as you guys can see, I came for the DIY. So we are gonna get crafty, because. What else is there to do in quarantine? Okay, so I did end up going with the custom Valentine's Day gift. I got my mini baby Lysol, which might as well give everything here a little spray down. Does this look child proof? Ooh. I've caught myself using this as perfume lately and it's a little bit concerning because it definitely shouldn't go on your skin. All right, so in, in the hosiery section, I found a couple of fun things. I've actually picked up leg warmers there before, but this time we picked up Silkies, knee high, <clears throat> oh my God, queen size. You guys have probably seen girls styling these on Pinterest. They're super cute. I don't really know how I'm gonna wear them exactly, but there's actually two pairs in here for $2. So another thing I found at the dollar store is they get a lot of dead stock tights. So sadly, a lot of the really cute ones did come in a small, but I found these stripey ones. What? Too much caffeine. I found these stripey ones, which I thought could be a cool option. They were only $3. These, these are the cutest things I've ever seen, you guys. Like run to your dollar store right now and pick these up because these were a bargain. We bought the cherry little heart socks for $1.25. We love that. And then the heart argyle. Who knew the dollar store was so freaking trendy? Let me know how I should style those because I 100% need to take a picture in them. Weird, I for some reason thought that these were like, things for your hair because it was in the hair section, but these are rings. Okay, this is where things get spicy, guys. We are gonna do some try-ons. Okay, so did I just find the biggest trendy dupe at the dollar store? I will let you know how my circulation is at the end of this video. Speaking of nails, we got room nails. Is this Mod Podge? It's literally the same font. Yeah, def definitely gonna be using my own glue. I found these amazing, cute little Dishes, they're gingham. I think these were in the Easter section. They were $2 each. And then, you guys saw me freak out about this in the store. We just have to test it out. Like, why is this what the design template provides? Okay, step number one. What color should we do? I feel like black is just classy. That is the one putting a stamp on her wrist. Oh God, they're just like pens. Oh, it's silver. There's no black. That's kind of a bummer, honestly, guys. We've got a multi-dimensional metallic tattoo. Who is ready for the grand reveal? Yo. Why did I just say you were woo? Kind of invigorating. While we're on this bandwagon of things that were probably meant for 10 year olds, but Sarah picked them up. This always caught my attention at the dollar store when I was going to pick up like claw clips and headbands. Oh, it's by Conair. That's reputable. Create twisty braids, fab, fun, and colorful. This is really exciting, but I don't want to take my braid out, but we have no other options. So getting into these last little clothing bits, we have these gloves. The fingerless mittens, they're back. And I couldn't find any there, but I found this really cute pattern. So you know what? We're gonna cut the fingertips off of these. Ooh, maybe I can use my tattoo pen. This is kind of working. Can I interrupt you for a second? Uh -huh. Come over. This is cool. <laughs> this is great because my fingertips get cold. I know, and mine get hot. <laughs> High five. What's up? High five. <laughs> My hands are so ugly. High what? five. Oh, it's like a travel video. Ready? Okay, wait, yeah. Stay there, stay there. And next up, you guys, there were so many fun options for earmuffs, but I went with the Hello Kitty because how could I not? <laughs> we got the Dickie. This is clutch because you literally layer it under like your crew necks, your sweaters, and you're not going to get super hot because it's literally a dicky. I will model that for you guys here along with this lovely bucket hat which is serving such early 2000s vibes. Tell me why I feel like Lord Far Farquhar. <laughs> photos. I'll take two pieces 
of hair, and we go. I'm scared, this is the moment of truth. Ow! What the f um. What? Can someone? Oh, I think I know. On my placement of the braids so they're not like sprouting out of my forehead but with the hat it kind of looks cute I'm not, I'm, not, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie guys I've got my tattoo I've got my bucket hat I've got my dickie what a combination let me tell you this was a fun freaking time oh how can we forget the fingerless glove just hitting on so many 2021 trends right here give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the effort that went into today's video Surprisingly, everything was a freaking hit. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Let me know. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of these fun DIYs that I'm gonna do. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.